Hi everyone, it is your host Max Miller and today we are going to be tasting some of the different goodies that I brought back from Scotland, some of the alcohol as well, as well as a few different things sent to me from Patreon patrons and friends of the show. This time on Tasting Random Things. Alright, so here I am with Jose, and we're gonna first start with some stuff that I got in Scotland, starting with that most Scottish of treats, a Scottish oat cake. And I actually got these, uh, they're Orkney Thin Oat Cakes. I got these when I was picking up the Arbroath Smokies at the uh, Fishmonger um, in Perth. Uh, I was getting the Arbroath Smokies for an upcoming video on Macbeth. It smells sweet. like graham cracker. Yeah, no. Or oat, oat cracker. <laughs> like an oat cake. Yeah, uh, like an oat cake. Doesn't smell very exciting, to be honest. It smells healthy. It's crispy. Mmm. It's like a graham cracker without the honey. Yeah, it's not sweet at all. Though usually they're served with like no jam, preserves, some cream. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like saltine cracker without the salt to me, but a little That's healthier. That's exactly what it tastes yeah. like. Yeah. But healthier. Yeah, I, I used to know someone, they would crumble these up and put them in heavy cream. Mm. Super healthy. Orkney thin cake. Real good. It's healthy. I mean, I imagine it's kind of filling if you eat it as a snack. If you eat a bunch, yeah. But I feel like it needs like a spread of something, like peanut butter. Or... They usually do. And if you watch the Macbeth video coming out in a few weeks, you'll see another version of these being made by someone. Um, moving on. So this is Scottish Tablet. It is called Tablet. It's a type of fudge. Um, Bruce actually got this for me. Hmm, let me see. They were talking the whole trip about how great this stuff is, um, how it just melts in your mouth <laughs> and you can't get it at anywhere. Basically, it was one of those things, oh, no, if you get it there, it's it's terrible. You got to get it at this place and everything. So I don't, I don't remember exactly where it <laughs> it, went. it looks like a, a bar of soap, a soap. Um, like a tablet like of soap. Like those Mexican, like, bars of soaps that you get. I don't, well, not that I wash my clothes with a bar of soap, but <laughs> I've seen, growing up. So the ingredients are sugar, milk, and butter. This expired six months ago. <laughs> oh, it's fine. All right, I guess I get off work tomorrow. Food poisoning. <laughs> it tastes good. I like it. I mean, it's just sugar. Wow, it's super sweet, but... No, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. It. What's weird, though, is the texture is not what I expected. When I broke it off, I was like, this is kind of hard. And the moment you put it into your mouth, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like, rem remember the that video of the raccoon who's <laughs> washing the, he takes the styrofoam peanuts and then he washes them and they just no, dissolve. No, it was cotton candy. Is like, or cotton candy. Uh, it was a sugar floss yeah, or candy yeah, floss. Yeah. And, and it just dissolves. That's what this is, but it dissolves in my mouth. Poor raccoon. Poor raccoon. Mm -hmm. You didn't need I love, that. I love empty raccoons. calories. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, is there an American candy it reminds you of? No. It actually reminds me of, um, in Mexico, like a jeta, kind of, it's just like that buttery sugar, I mean, I think it's pretty Yeah, it's bad. buttery sugar. Yeah. It's delicious. But it's, it's nice, um, it's kind of creamy in a weird way. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. I don't know that I could eat a whole block of it, though. No. That's like a week's worth right there. Yeah. What's a serving size? Do they not have it? <laughs> no. Is that an American thing? Unit it is gluten-free, though. <laughs> Unit one. Uh, I don't know what that means. But mm. um, I do recommend, except this one's expired. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Um, when I was in Iona, on the Isle of Iona, at the Abbey, just did a video on on Iona and St. Columba. Watch it. It's really good. People are loving it. Um, I got some of the mead that they make there at the Abbey. One for you. One for me. Um, made from honey. Well, yeah, clearly. Cheers. Uh, are we just going to drink it out of here? 14.5% oh, uh, well. volume alcohol. That's 
You know what? Oh. I work out, but I have the weakest fingers. Mm -hmm. I have little. Let me go. Yeah, can you open mine? Here, I'll take that. Thank you. Mmm. I like it. That is delicious. I, I like got it some plastic in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Oh no, you know what it was? Was uh, some of the meat had gotten here, and because it's like totally sugary, sugar. it, it had just crystallized. It is very much like drinking honeyed water, right? Yeah, but it's good. I like it. Yeah. This is great. That's good meat. Mm -hmm. I own Abbey. I, I wonder if you can get this anywhere in the United States. I wonder how bad of a hangover I would have if I... That's why they, they sell them in these. Actually, they did sell them in big bottles. Well, I mean, they sell liquor in small bottles, too, but I'd still drink, like, four of those. Be like a Viking. It's good. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you recommend? If you like sweet drinks. Uh, yeah. Which I do. We do. And there, You know, that's the thing with meat is sometimes it's really sweet, sometimes it's less sweet, sometimes it's effervescent or... Um, Flavored like a hydromel and stuff like that. This is just very sweet, but you're getting more of the honeyness than anything else. It is. It really is. I bet it's just honey, water, and yeast. There's I do. Else in I there. do prefer that it's not. Doesn't have the bubbles to it. Uh, like the one that I made. Yeah. No. Not not that it was bad. It's it just, naturally effervescent. I, it just it goes down smoother. <laughs> well, yeah, that gave me heartburn. Yeah, I tend to not drink a lot of soda because yeah. you know the the gas and you know. we're old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. Uh, so one thing about the hunt, the meat video that comes up often on comments, people are still asking uh, to this day, when are you doing the six-month tasting? It? It's like, I already did that a year and a half ago. <laughs> it's in the Dragonheart episode. Yeah, Dragonheart. Yeah. <clears throat> Why well, I end up So I've done that, you know, where I did a six-month tasting. You finished yours. And then I also did a... Um, judgmental. Uh, I did a year tasting of the hardtack. And do you still have those? Yeah, I still have some. Mm -hmm. um, I also have some that are newer that I made when I was uh, doing photos for the cookbook. Um, but available for pre-order. Uh, but the the hard tack I did as a year later as the Hellfire Stew. Mm -hmm. And I have an upcoming episode on pemmican. What's that? That is. The meat version of hardtack, basically, it's uh, dried meat mixed with fat, molded into a little bar. Um, survival food, but it also would last a long time, and then they would make better stuff out of it. It was like an ingredient, and so I'm going to save back some for a year and use it to make something else. Possibly something called... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Rubaboo. That's how I say it in the video. <laughs> I, I, they're like four You will be corrected. Oh, I, well, and I say, right. I say, I don't know if I'm, because I could not find out how to say this. I found like four different spellings of this word, and they're all different, but all of them made me come to the conclusion that it is pronounced rubaboo. Rubibu Rub is probably French, oh. from French or something, because some of the other dishes are like rechaud, reheat. Mm. Moving on. No, no, no. Why did I think pemmican was a um... type of seabird? That's no. a pelican. <laughs> I get that. I get that. Mm -hmm. Easy mistake. Um, why did I think it was a drink? Am I thinking of something else? Clearly. I don't know what, well, though. Well, yes. I... <laughs> pemmican. Pemmican. Read my mind. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing. Right. Um, the next is... <laughs> Old Tom Gin from York Gin. So this I got from York, not Scotland, in England, from York. Uh, they had a bunch of different gins. They actually won a bunch of awards. Um, cool stuff. York Gin. This is the Old Tom, which I talk about at length in the gin episode, um, which is a style of gin that's a little bit sweeter than the London Dry Gin that most people have today. Um, not nearly as sweet as slow gin, uh, like not nearly as sweet, but it is just a, a hint of sweetness. By the way, slow gin comes from the slow berry, S-L-O-E. Yes. Slow I know pump. that because I did subtitles for that video. Does the subtitles <laughs> for all the videos. <laughs> just, he just doesn't remember all of the videos. But I actually learned something from That's that good. one. Um, this, so my brother and I, we, we were on the trip, um, we were like walking Hi, Jesse. down the street, it, it could have... It was like 9.30 a.m. and this place was open. We went in because 
The reason that I went in was they used the same exact font on their sign as I used when I started tasting history, and I still use it a lot today. Papyrus? No, I think it's called Tritello or it's one of those. Um, mm, but sorry, I had to throw it in there. I didn't know Papyrus was the <clears throat> font for Avatar. I only know because because of the wonderful Saturday Night Live sketch. <laughs> I only saw it about two weeks ago. So funny. But my team, who's working on Avatar to lay water out this December. That's what they call their team, Papyrus. Papyrus. Because that's, that's I was like, well, what do you call that? It's like, oh, that's the, the font, font that Avatar uses. <laughs> it's um, a great SNL skit if you haven't seen it. Yeah, go watch that. Um, so this though, so we went in, it was like 9.30 a.m. We walked in, I got like a sign and some other stuff. But they were like, do you want to do a tasting? At 9.30? Yes, we do. And was, we ended up having like five different shots of it was like gin it was, at 9.30 in It was morning. like 11 o'clock my time, to be honest, right? Yeah. Yeah. I it support was, it. It was early. I support it. Um, so let's do this. Uh, so I guess we'll just do a just do a sip. Yeah. Uh, we don't, because we're going to drink it straight, right? And it's more than enough. Cheers. Cheers. So you can really smell that. It's like a sweet juniper. You know, when I first had gin in my younger years, I was like, oh my God, this is like drinking perfume. Now that I've gotten older and wiser, I'm like, it's so good. I'm like, I like it a little more. What is that flavor? Read the back of the bottle. Man, you can tell me. No. That is lovely. It is so good though. That is fantastic. That's actually, I don't remember it being that good. <laughs> it was 9.30 in the morning. Um, that's really, really good. That's nice. Like it, It's very fragrant. Yeah. And it stays with you, but, but it's not floral. It's it's more like... It doesn't have that bitterness that I always think of perfume. It's like, oh, I just drank a bunch of stuff. Yeah, no, not at it's, all. It's nice. Jamie's just off camera. I think he wants a drink. But he's, he's be on camera not second. yet old enough, buddy. Uh-oh. Jamie, you're not doing... He's, he wants tablet. Are you in this episode, Jamie? You're not even supposed to be up here. Why do you think the rules are... Buddy. You can see his back. It's a big back. It's a big back. <laughs> All right. That's delightful. Moving on. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's get him down. <clears throat> real quick, as I pour our next um, item, hey, I want to call out that uh, if you haven't subscribed Hi. to Max's main channel for whatever reason... I don't know what you're doing here. If you're not watching his channel. <laughs> Wait, Jamie? Uh, yeah, it's a health code violation. Don't call I mean, it's not that. a... He is not, but it's <laughs> the concept of it. We're not even cooking anything. I, I know we're wearing aprons. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'm sharing this with you, but I'm not sharing this with anyone else because I am abhorred by it. But... I do this show, or uh, Tasting History, you know, in my kitchen at home, and it's very clean. But we have two cats, and sometimes Jane you know, runs around or whatever. And in one of the images that I use in an upcoming episode, there's a cat hair that fell onto the food. That's disgusting. It's really gross. You're never cooking for me again. And I didn't see it like when I was cooking. I don't think I ate it, but still. You probably did. The idea of it. Anyway, uh-oh, I just spilled hot water everywhere. It's not going well. It's not going well. Struggle bus. Wait, was that everything from from Scotland? Mm. <clears throat> Did you bring more things oh. and forgot? No. Okay, so there is oh. something else that I got while I was in Scotland. It's actually from England. Um, mm. This is my socks mug from right here. Yum, 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 yum. Sorry. So while I was in Scotland, I had, I had worked so hard to get someone who... Uh, grew these herbs that I couldn't find anywhere hyssop and savory <clears throat> and um, Bridget Webster who uh, runs she has like a Tudor garden. It's brilliant. I'm very jealous of you Bridget by the way. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous um, in Norfolk uh, I believe right um, in England she grews grews them she grews them she grows mm -hmm. them and so she sent some up to Scotland so they would be there when I got there so I could actually cook with these fresh herbs. Spoiler alert, I ended up using dry herbs that I had brought because the uh, Royal Postal Service 
did not did not do a great job and um they didn't show up until like five days after we were done filming but when they did show up even though i couldn't use the herbs any longer even though they actually were still in great shape um she had sent me this uh bridget webster's tudor recipe quince authentic fruit marmalades uh, quince, 1573. It is, you think marmalade and you think like a spreadable thing. First of all, you can't get quince here anywhere in the United States. It's just not very popular. Um, is that similar to figs? No. No? No. Um, but this is when it, it's called marmalade, but it's much thicker. And I have not tried it yet, but just the texture of it. I don't but know. This is the stuff Paddington loves. It. It, but it's not because you, then it's not marmalade it's like firm like marmalade your finger would uh did you bring like a spoon or something <laughs> no but we have crackers i don't know that we can we this have, is kind of perfect for it uh okay. i'm gonna try to dip um, no it's really really firm i has a knife you have to cut it yeah i has a knife yeah it's it's almost like a like a candy <laughs> That's very thick. It is super thick. That's what she said. It's, uh, young man. This isn't tasting Kids history. <laughs> That's right, I'm, it's not tasting history. I'm actually allowed to say whatever Tasting I want. history after death. And actually be in it. One of these days, my hand is going to be in tasting history. You watch. Uh, I'm thinking about it. It's like, how? You're I locked in my <laughs> locked in your room when I'm filming. I want, I'm going to eat this right now with the with the oat cake. I want, I want to be like... Cheers, and then my hand appears just to toast you, and that's it. And then we'll be like, "Oh my God, there's someone else there." Can that's really good. Prisoner. Interesting flavor. That's very thick. Me gusta. I like it. That's really great. Love the flavor. Mm. The texture reminds me of like if um if the don't take this the wrong way. <clears throat> the inside of a, a Fig Newton was like left out for a very long time. Like if it was stale. It's kind of like firmed up. That's what this reminds me of. That's oddly specific. What's your history of Fig Newtons? Because I also think that the flavor kind of reminds me of it, which is funny because it is not like a fig. It is a quince. I do think it, it has more of the honey sweetness. It's much sweeter. Yeah. Mm. That's that delightful. Um, in the container, it's pretty dark, but once the light hits it, there is like an orange. Um, yeah, a lovely orange that catches. I like that. I'm going to eat more of it later. Yeah. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you, Bridget. <clears throat> that was very yeah, that was very nice because when I finally got the herbs, I was like, oh, it's too late. And then I opened it, and this was in there, and I was like, <laughs> oh, well, little surprise. Um, Okay. Shall we try the tea? Yes. So the tea is courtesy of um, our friends. Is it Kendra Beige? She, Kendra, and and Matt. And uh, well, Matt. Kendra sent it, but Matt is how I know Kendra. And Matt is the one who made the new tasting history intro. Uh, new is in a year and a half old. The fancy animated one. Yes. Hey, it's better than my intro. My intro is curtains. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but. They, uh, so his sister owns a tea company. I think they own it together, actually. But she owns a tea company. Cosplay I mentioned Cafe. Cosplay Cafe. Right. I mentioned them in the um, afternoon tea episode. Mm -hmm. And they're all herbal teas, and they're wonderful, and they're usually, like, very colorful. They're, they're fun. Um, but they're not only fun, they're also really quite delicious. I wish I had tried the Squirtle one, because it's the bright blue. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, we still have some. Um, oh, but, this but time, what is this? So she just sent me this. I just got it today. Yeah. So it's uh, juniper berries, I believe. Uh, trying to th like uh, the gin. Yeah. Theme to uh, the Legend of Zelda. Uh, it's called Lost Woods, which features in many of the Zelda games. Um, but I think for this one, the inspiration was Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I sunk a lot of time in my life, and I'm excited for the next one next year. Shall we? All right. We don't cheers to tea, do we? I don't think so. What do we say? <laughs> My snooty English. No, I don't Oh, see, that's lovely. There's like a nuttiness to it. That's really good. 
I kind of want sugar in mine, but that might be sarcolegious. Not in herbal <laughs> tea. No. <laughs> this is perfect for, like, right before bed. I feel like this is going to relax me and put me to sleep. You know what it actually reminds me of? It's not nuttiness. It reminds me of the tea that you get at a, most Chinese restaurants. Oh. Um, I was going to say chamomile. What? But it's not chamomile. It's herbal. Oh, chamomile. What? No. I like it. It's very nice and light. It's lovely. Um, I'd still add honey and <clears throat> sugar if I had my way, though. To everything. Yes. Have some more tablet. <laughs> um, me gusta. And then we have, I think, one more thing to try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the interesting thing with this is that we have to try it with other other things. More mead. More mead. Oh. No, I finished all mine. So it was sent to me from Nature's Wildberry, who contacted me on... Instagram and I'll put what are they called? Handles here. Yes. Miracle berries. Miracle berries. They come from uh, West Africa, or originally they were from West Africa. And I was actually looking into buy one of these plants. So, real quick gardening tangent, because people have been asking, it's gonna happen. Um, but I'll, you know, a little bit of a garden tour. Uh, I do have quite a few plants now. I have four different fig t types. But they're all very small and you know and I've, I've been delaying because of the heat wave that kind of killed a lot of my plants i actually lost i think four hibiscus hibiscuses hibiscus it was very sad and and the thing is they are younger hibiscus anyways and they were the home depot ones which you know they're not as they don't last as long they're not as disease resistant as some of the plants that I, but um i think with the, the summer kind of passing by because i'm hoping by the time this airs it might be the first or second day of fall uh which is tomorrow <laughs> um so with a cool like a week to edit a video <laughs> and i'm like overnight here no editing just adding some music <laughs> at the beginning and ending but here we go but um now i'm excited to show the, uh i was just hoping to have things look a little less crispy and a little more verdant um now that the summer sun okay. is a little nicer uh but yeah no i got like a dwarf guava a dwarf pomegranate i have like a dwarf banana tree I have three different kinds of trees. We don't have space for we, full size no, 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 trees. No, no, no. <laughs> and even everything then, is a dwarf. And even then, it's like I don't think everything can succeed because our yard's not big enough for everything. Um, but I'm excited to see where we are. Only the now. strong survive. Come spring, my backyard's gonna smell amazing because I yeah. have like eight different kinds of jasmine. Come on over, and, pool party. Um, yeah, no, I'll show you. I'll show more shortly. Um, but yeah, and and then we always have uh, praying mantises here in the yard. Yeah, I I just shared some today. Yeah, um, one of them is very very big. Yeah, she's Maybe she's pregnant. She's probably eating up the Wendy's all the time, like I am. But <laughs> I'm hoping she lays uh, one of her uthicas that I had found earlier, which hasn't which hatched. never hatched. And I you think know it what? Died. Maybe it hatched at some point, or maybe the sun just dried it <clears> out. <throat> it's it's hard to say. But um, no, more to come. And and thank you all. Real quick. I did hit 40,000 followers. You did? <laughs> yes. Yay. <laughs> so it's kind of random, but, you know, um, thanks for following it's amazing. along. And, and please make sure to keep supporting Tasting History just because he is the main channel. Uh, no, and honestly, the algorithm's been kind of wonky. Yeah, lately. it has. It's been very uh, These are kind depressing. of down across the board. So please make sure you're watching and sharing, I think, you know, spread the word, spread the gospel. And if you word. haven't seen St. Columba, go watch the St. Columba <laughs> video. It's really good. It. <laughs> you know what? People are loving it. It's watch just not it. many people are watching it. Watch his channel, not for his sake, but for my sake. Because when the channel does, an episode does not do well, oh my God. It ruins my... And it ruins my... My day. <laughs> several days. It's... Um... And Jamie's. You don't want Jamie to be sad. I mean, God. <laughs> he takes it very personally. Yeah. But anyway, uh, back to our miracle berry. I'm yes. so sorry. So they're also called Ladidi berry, which I'm guessing is more of the the actual name. Um, so the thing with these, why are they magic and miracles? Supposedly, when you eat them, they make sweet things sour and sour things sweet. Mm -hmm. I believe that. All right. Let me cleanse my palate with a little bit. So more remove tea. one or both halves of a berry. Just take the whole berry. Chew for 30 seconds, tasting the pulp. Swallow berry and enjoy new flavors. Okay. Keep in mind, works best with a clean palate. Mm. 
Uh, half berry lasts approximately 15 to 20 minutes. One berry lasts 20 to 40 minutes. We haven't had dinner. It's gonna weird out my dinner if I eat the whole thing. We also had a lot of alcohol at this point. Not that much. I've had a lot of alcohol. It makes point. me need dinner all the more. Okay, so here are the berries, as you can see. They are pre-cut in half, and they look kind of like Boston baked beans, but cut in half. Oh, man, I love Boston baked beans. I haven't had those since I was a kid. What, what? You remember sugar I, daddies I, wait, and wait, sugar wait, wait. babies? I don't know Boston baked beans, and I don't know sugar daddies and sugar babies. Wait. Sugar daddy? Sugar, yeah. So sugar babies were the small version of sugar daddies. Sugar daddies were on a stick and you like, and sugar babies were just like, well, they kind of look like this. Um, but Boston baked beans, gosh, I don't even know what are in them. They're not beans, they're, uh, I feel like they're peanuts with just the shell of a peanut M&M without the chocolate. I'm probably mm -hmm. wrong in that, but. Man, I used to love them when I was a kid. Those and sugar daddies. They're dried, so I don't smell anything. Mm. Does it, how's it taste? Sweet. <laughs> it reminds me of that, the dried berries that you have on cereal. Mm-hmm. Oh, the sweetness is at the end. Mm-hmm. A little bit of tartness, but. I'm not sure that I chewed it as long as I'm supposed to. Are you supposed to chew it for a long it. time? Uh-oh. Chew for 30 seconds. Oh. <laughs> we both right. didn't do it. Let's round two. One more. <laughs> Oops. Does not read directions. <laughs> Neither of us do, apparently. Mm -hmm. mm. I almost bought one of these from Logis, where I, I bought a lot of my plants from. The plant, not yeah, these. Yeah, the actual plant. Um, again, they call it Miracle Berry. Um... Why? I don't know. Just to have guests over, like, ooh, come check out my miracle berry tree. <laughs> let's, Expecting a real miracle. Let's mess up your senses. No, I'm thinking of the miracles of St. Columba, which are know. all ridiculous. Mm. Go watch the video. Um, all right. No. Can we taste things now? What does it say? Mm. Swallow berry and enjoy new flavors. Yes. Okay. I okay. have swallowed berry. Let us enjoy new flavors. All right. So I poured uh, some some tonic water and some lime juice. So in I theory, probably should have tasted it before. I mean, obviously it's sour. It's you just know pure what it lime juice, like. but yeah. still. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Shouldn't be sour. It's not sour at all. It's sweet, but tonic water is sweet. So I'm like, hmm. Oh, it's with tonic? Yeah, I messed up. Can't do it with tonic. Okay, here, okay. just put some some uh, lime juice. Lime juice in here. Mm -hmm. I'm not smart. Don't say that. No soy inteligente. Now that sound. That's that's yeah. That's gonna be sad. <laughs> Super sweet. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, that's weird. That is weird. Because it's not just <laughs> sweet, it's like... It tastes like sh you're drinking sh sugar. Liquid sugar, that's what I'm tasting. Yeah, like syrup, like actual just... Just water and sugar. <clears throat> simple syrup. You know what would be great is to, to eat this and then have something really... Sh or next time I like make a terrible cocktail, I'm like, wait, 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 here. Get me some berries. <laughs> it's like, Ugh. But so does it also work the other way around? If there's something sweet, does it make it taste sour? Mm, I'm scared. All right, we're yeah. gonna take some of this quince paste or the the quince marmalade, Tudor quince marmalade. Um, let's try it. It does not make things taste sour. If anything, it tastes even better than it did before. I mean, it was good before, but now I could eat this whole damn, whole damn thing. No, you're going to ruin your dinner. Stop it. I think you've already ruined my dinner. I want Wendy's. 
<laughs> it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> so, turn the sour thing sweet. I don't know what else, what other effects it has. That's very cool though. But it is really cool. There you go. <clears throat> so, um, now the people that sent me, I know you can get them a lot of places, but I think, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we'll buy the plant. The people that sent these to me uh, are at natureswildberry.com. And they're really cool. I don't know how much they are. Do you know? No idea. Look well, it up. But I know the plant's like forty dollars. <laughs> so they're out of stock. I'm sure now. they're a lot less than that. <laughs> the Look it up and then put no, the price on no, the, the on actual video. plant um, that I want to buy. But they're good. And thank you, Nature's Wildberry, for sending them. Mm -hmm. And thank you to everyone who who sent me things. Um, <clears throat> York Gin and. Cosplay Cafe, Bridget Webster, and Bruce for our expired. Bruce for our expired and yet still, which is honestly, still very good. This is one of those things that it expires. It's still good for ten years. All it is. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, it does say best before. It says best before, not expired. Yeah. True. But I wish it said expired. Also, I'm really gonna look up and see if we can get this Iona Mead, <laughs> Iona Abbey Mead here. I doubt it because Iona is out of the way. And it's a very small place, so I can't imagine they make very much, but um, it's really good. I loved it. It was really good. But anyway, um, again, thanks, thank you, everyone, for the support that you've shown myself and Max. In the last two and a half years, we're yeah. approaching three <clears throat> in, like, February of next year, so wow. it's been a ride. Um, you know, I'm still working at Disney, uh, so... I mentioned my last video, Andor. Andor is out now. Watch it. It's different Star Wars. We're going to watch it after we're done here. Yep. Because he hasn't seen it. I've seen a few episodes. Oh, it's open tonight. Or it starts tonight. Yes. <laughs> so um, so check that out. And then more to come. You know, Disenchanted. And uh, a lot more fun things. Surprises coming. Indeed. But uh, I'll put our socials down here somewhere. And... Mm -hmm. Super appreciative. Oh, um, <laughs> I always try and comment and reply to you know any any, any messages that get sent our way. So yep. much appreciated. And we'll see you next time on tasting random things. This, I don't know if we're gonna do this again. This but. is actually catch up with Max episode twenty six. <laughs> oh, right. We're doing mean comments. Oh yes, mean comments are coming. Okay, so I, I was <clears throat> you know talk that, about ruining my day. <laughs> um, I didn't want to do a mean comments episode this week because, because I had a rough week. The video didn't do well. The video <laughs> personally flopped, but I, I, I did flopped. I did go through and collect more uh, uh, mean comments from older videos. Yep. Um, but the older videos don't get as much pickup. Sometimes randomly, one will be like, "Whoop," you know, yeah, like, or yeah. it's, it's performing and da da da. Garum had a big pop. Was it last week? It was like, yeah, it's rather Garum's random. But you know, I, I was going through old videos and. Because the community is so fantastic, we don't have too many mean comments. Yeah. So I even went to Twitter and I found this fun one. Uh, this one said, uh, "The tasting history man is quite attractive, but he also looks like a husky to me." Like the dog? I mean, what other husky do you know? I used to wear husky pants because I was a fat kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it was back uh, in the '80s and early '90s when they really shamed you for being chubby kid. And by they, I mean my mom. <laughs> Hi, Pam. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I'll edit that one out. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Oh, she knows. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll have that coming on a week that Max is not feeling down. And I don't need to kick him while he's down. <laughs> no, <you don't. laughs> but All right. please make sure to check out the rest of those videos and share them out. And we will be updating some of the older thumbnails. So if you see... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some new content it's not new we're just refreshing the some of the thumbnails just to kind of be more in line with uh our we've, improving we've learned skills. a lot of stuff yeah we've learned how to <laughs> and do stuff better. just uh, just unfortunately i i can't relearn how to take old photos mm -hmm. so it's still the photos that i was taking so it's you could still make me the the sambuca cheesecake that I remake the sambuca that's, that's a lot of work i will take that because i almost all the comments at this point are you didn't taste it? You didn't taste it. I should actually redo no the Sambucon. No cross section? I should redo the Sambucon <laughs> episode. Uh, make it for my birthday. Or, or a different version of a cheesecake. No, make me that one. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll catch you next time. And... Uh...
Bye. Adios.